Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. I am here with Ryder from Hilliard Davidson High School. He has um, volunteered to help make this video so we can walk everybody through how to create your student account and how to select all of your colleges inside Common App and then how to match Common App to school links. This is a very important step that should that has to be done so so writer um has already done a few things here what i need everybody to do right now is to open up two tabs um one is to common app and it is going to look like this the other is going to be to school links just go to schoollinks.com then click on login, and then you will pull up this screen right here. Once you get to this screen, you're going to click on login with Google, and then you will log in using your Hilliard Schools email address. The only thing you have to do is just follow along, um, and we will help you through this whole process. Good job, Ryder. So once you get into School Links, it is going to look like this. Okay. Then you don't have to do anything with the School Links right now. Now we're going to open up the other tab with the Common App. So if this is the first time you are in, you're going to click on in the bottom left corner where it says Start Your Application. Um, and then fill in everything with a red star. It's important um, that you know what email you're going to use to create this account. It is okay, and it's actually easier to, to match to school links if you just use your Hilliard School account. If you um, use a personal Gmail, that's fine too, and we can show you how to do all that. Writer has already made a student account, so he is just going to log in. Writer. Okay, so Ryder is in. He's actually already put a few schools in here. And so what is important for everybody to understand, this is where you're gonna spend your time. The dashboard is a place where you will find, after you put your schools in, you will be able to find all of the deadlines. Uh, do they need any kind of recommendations? They explain everything to you right here of everything that is needed for that school. When, then under My Colleges, this is where you find every school's questions that are specific to them. And this is where you find the FERPA, which we're gonna take care of very soon. And this is where you review, pay for, and submit each application separately. The Common App tab is the body of this application. Every section here must be finished. Every time you finish a section, you will get a green check mark, and that will help take care of all of this. The first thing we have to do so we can um, begin to match Common App to School Links is we have to identify your high school. So right here, you're gonna see find school, click on your high school, then all of your high school um, info should show up right here. That is great. Writer has already done that for us, which is awesome. So once we have done that, then we're gonna go here to college search. 
This is where you put in all of the schools that you're going to apply to using this application. If you plan to apply to any colleges that use their own application, you do not put them in here. Um, Ryder is going to apply to Ohio University, but he's going to come to the free application event. So he's not going to add Ohio University because he's going to use their own application. So you have two schools in here, Ryder. What school are you going to add now? Uh, I'm going to add Cincinnati. As Cincinnati. Well. Let's do it. So you just type in Cincinnati, and then it's going to show up. Scroll down. There it is. Click on it. Click on Add to My Colleges. Go over to My Colleges and make sure that they're there. All of the schools that he's uh, that he's going to apply to using the Common App are here. Are you going to add any more schools? That's it. That's for it for now. right now. Yeah. Great job, Ryder. Excellent. So the next thing that we want to do is in each school is to go to their own questions. And we need to um, put in the term that you're going to start and the application plan. All right. Miami offers all of these various options. Ryder has chosen early action. Just do that for right now. Then he's going to do the same thing with Ohio State. He's going to click on he wants to start in the fall. And again, he's going to click on early action. The reason why that we are doing this is once we match the school links, then these deadlines will show up in both places. And then we'll do the same thing with Cincinnati. Starting in the fall, application plan is early action. That is great. So once he's done that, then the next thing that we have to do is to take care of FERPA. I have kids ask me all the time, what is FERPA? Well, FERPA is where you have to give all of these schools that you're going to send it, um, your application to and that where we are going to send your transcripts to, you have to tell them that it is okay that they read it. And so um, we just need to click on this blue tab right here. Check the box. <clears throat> click on the blue tab. On the square. Then right here, you have a choice. You can use either one of these. It is fine. My suggestion is to waive your right. Most teachers, when they write for you, they will actually hand you a copy of that letter. But if you click on waiving your right, that if you ever want to read any kind of letter of recommendation, you can't get that from the Common App. And then at the same time, some teachers, if you write, I do not waive my right, they might not write for you. At no time should anybody write any kind of letter of recommendation that's under any kind of evaluation. And colleges on their end sometimes question why students might not trust said teacher when they are writing. So, um, Writer, you could choose. I'm going to select to wave. Okay. Check the box. Writer's going to type in his name. Then he's going to click on the icon and then click on the circle. Circle. Click on it. And that's going to put in today's date and then he'll save it. Great work. So once you do that, you will get a green check mark. You will get a green check mark in all of your schools in that same space. All right, we can double check. They're all there. Very good. So now we've taken care of all the pieces we have to take care of. So we can match Common App to School Links. Now we're going to move over to School Links, click on that tab. Scroll down on the left side where it says colleges and click on college applications. So right now, the first step writer has to do, he has to put in his address. 
and then it will start to show up. Then down at the bottom left corner, he needs to identify what email he used to create his Common App account so we can match them. So I'll click on Next. He has to say, did you use any um, fee waivers last year to take ACT or SAT? Um, he's going to say no. Then click on Next. And then we have to take care of FERPA again through school links. So check the box. And then you're going to fill out the same way that you filled it out the first time. In your name. Check the box. He's going to sign the waiver and he's going to finish. So this has allowed um, both of these systems to, um, they're okay with sharing all of this information. So right now it says on his account, Common App is still not connected. We've done everything that we have to do. Now we just need to click on connect. This will give you some instructions if you need it, but I want to tell you what to do. Scroll on down to the bottom. Why can't we get to the bottom here? Help me out here, writer. Whoops. Sorry about that. Scroll down. There it is. Click on link. The green tab. Now it's going to take you to log back in to the Common App, and you have to answer one question. You have to agree that you want these two systems to talk to each other. It's important that Common App and School Links are speaking to each other. So if Ryder wants to add a school later tonight, he can put it into the Common App, then it will show up inside School Links. He has to click on, I do agree, and he's, he's going to connect. School links is where um, the school counselor will send high school transcripts. This is where he will ask for teachers to write letters of recommendation for him. So if you notice the schools using Common App that writer is going to apply to are now showing up inside school links. He has automatically asked for the transcripts to be sent to Miami, Ohio State, and Cincinnati, which is great. Right now, Ryder has an opportunity to request letters of recommendation. All three of these schools do not require them, but he can do that right here. You go over to the right, you click on add application, you put in your first school, which was Miami, it will show up right here. Click on add application, update the application. It tells you the deadlines. Then right here, it'll tell you, Miami will only accept one letter of rec. You click on this right here. Every teacher in Hilliard City Schools, nine through 12 is in here. Do you know who you would like to request? I know who, but uh, I haven't talked to him about it yet. That is a great answer, Ryder. You should probably ask them first, but as all you do is put the teacher's name in here, their email is going to pop up, and then you click on request right here. You'll do that for every one of your schools. So once you do that for your first school, you need to see your second school is OSU. Click on add application, add in Ohio State, main campus, put them in here, update the app. It tells you Ohio State only will take one teacher as well. It's important that you invite your number one teacher to write all of your first letters of rec. You don't ask one teacher to write for UC, one teacher to write for Miami, and one teacher to write for um, OSU. Whoever your first choice is, 
that letter is going to go to all of your schools. You will see some colleges will actually allow more than one. Let's take a look at Cincinnati. All right. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong school there. Sorry. Let's do that again. Helps if I could spell. <clears throat> University of Cincinnati main campus. Update it. Now, University of Cincinnati, they don't need any, but they will allow for three. Okay? And you can invite them right here. All right. Very good. Now, Ryder said he was also going to take advantage of our Ohio University free application event. If he's going to do that, we're going to be filling out Ohio's own application that day. We're not going to be using the common app. Same way with Bowling Green. We're having a bunch of schools in on September 6th. Um, Capital, Ohio Wesleyan, and schools like that. All of those schools will be using their own application. But th then you have to request a transcript in here. So we're going to do that. We're going to add application. We're going to put in Ohio, Ohio University, main campus, add application. We're going to click on this because we're, we're going to be filling out the school specific online app. He's going to apply early action. He's going to scroll down. Yes, he's going to submit FAFSA. And then, whoops, he's going to click on save. And then when he goes back, Ohio University will be on his list right here of schools that he's going to apply to. Every school that shows up here, he has now asked for all of those transcripts. Then at this point, we go back to the Common App. We've taken care of all of the technical pieces of it. Now, Ryder just needs to work on his application. When he's ready to submit, he does not wait for his counselor to send the transcripts. He does not wait for his teachers to send the letters. Um, he goes in here, finishes up their questions, Review and submit right here. If Ryder is going to apply to any colleges using his test scores, it is important that he send his test scores from ACT to all of these schools or from the college board to all of his schools. Right here under testing, he's going to have an opportunity to self-report his scores. If he says yes, he'll put in the date of his test and all of his outcomes, which is great. That does not count as those colleges having his scores. He's just letting them know. It's important. And every year, people miss this. If you're applying with test scores, please request them from the testing, from the testing agency. It's very important that that is done. If there's if you apply with scores and you don't send the scores, then the application stays open. If the application stays open, then you are going to miss a deadline, which schools like Ohio State, Miami, a lot of the schools that Ryder has chosen, those early action deadlines are tied to the scholarship deadline. So if everything is not finished by the deadline, then he cannot get merit scholarships at that school. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask, and I would love to help. Thank you, and feel free to send me an email. Bye-bye.